Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Wait, that's not my intro. Oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, and if you're not already, you should definitely subscribe down below. So this week I thought it would be interesting to do a video of trying new So this week I thought I would do a video about trying a new Starbucks drink every day for a week. I mean it's technically like not a week because I'm just doing Monday through Friday, but you get the gist, you know. So today is Monday and the drink that I will be trying is a caramel macchiato and it's hot. I've had the iced caramel macchiato but I've never had the hot one and I don't know if that's kind of like cheating or whatever but I make the rules here so on top there's this like foam stuff I guess it's like whipped cream maybe that is really good that's just basically whipped cream with caramel sauce I'm going to stir around this straw because if you don't know the macchiato is like milk on the bottom and then they pour the espresso shot on top all right it's probably really hot but i'm gonna try it anyway okay just to preface i don't really like the taste of coffee like i drink coffee but i need milk and sugar and some type of flavoring in it i don't just drink straight up like black coffee we will see if i like it It mostly tastes like coffee, obviously. It basically just tastes like hot coffee to me, so that's kind of disappointing. Overall, I would give it a, I think a seven out of 10. It wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be because the iced caramel macchiato definitely tastes better to me. It's not as sweet as I would have liked it. Okay, so it's Tuesday now and I just went to Starbucks and the drink that I'm going to be trying today is the s'mores frappuccino so this is I think it's like a seasonal one I don't think it's a permanent menu item but it looks really good it has like whipped cream and chocolate sauce down at the bottom and then it's like the actual frappuccino frappuccino and then whipped cream and graham crackers on top okay I'm gonna try it now Ooh, that's really good. Tastes like chocolate and graham crackers. Reminds me of some type of cookie. I can't think of what it is. I mean, obviously it reminds me of a s'more, but this is really good. And I think I would actually give it a 10 out of 10. And I normally don't like a lot of chocolate things. Like I don't like chocolate milkshakes or anything like that, but this is actually really good. So everyone should try this. I think it's only around in like the fall, maybe. Not really sure. Yeah, so overall 10 out of 10. Okay, hello, it is Wednesday now, and we just went and got lunch, and I got my Starbucks. So today I got a mango dragon fruit refresher, which I've never tried. I've had the strawberry acai one in the very, very hibiscus, but I haven't tried this because I actually don't really like mango. So I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of scared. <sighs> It's very mango-y. Like, I don't even know what dragon fruit tastes like, so I don't really know if that's the other flavor that I'm tasting, but I'm assuming it is. I mean, it's actually not bad. I thought I wasn't gonna like it because I don't really like mango. Also, it's like so pretty. Like, can we just admire her for a second? Okay, so I think overall I would give it a 7 out of 10 because I was happily surprised with how it tasted but still like I don't really like mango and I think the other refreshers I like more. I'll definitely drink this. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, hello. It is Thursday today and I just went to Starbucks. It's like 10 30 in the morning. I know you really don't care because it doesn't have anything to do with this video. I decided today to try an iced pumpkin spice latte because if you can believe it, when I'm being. That's not the right. 
because in all my years of going to Starbucks, I've never tried a pumpkin spice latte, either hot or ice. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to try it. I just got a tall, just a little baby one. So we'll see how it tastes. That's so good. Oh my God, I love pumpkin stuff. Um, yeah. That was such a bad review, I literally didn't say anything. It tastes mostly like pumpkin. There is like an undertone of coffee, but it doesn't really taste like coffee. Like I think that if you didn't like coffee that much that you could still drink this. And I got it iced because I just kind of prefer iced drinks over hot drinks, especially coffee. But overall, I would say I give it an 10 out of Overall, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Yay! Because it's really good. I really love pumpkin stuff and it's festive. So, you know, I will definitely drink this. Hey, hello everyone. So today's actually Saturday. I didn't go to Starbucks yesterday because we got Dunkin' and I didn't want Dunkin' and Starbucks in the same day. So I decided to go today as my last day and I got the pumpkin cream cold brew. So I've had the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. This one has like the foam on top and then it kind of mixed together because we had to walk back from Starbucks. But I'll insert the video that I have now that I took of like after I first got it when it was kind of like mixing together. And I got a straw because I wanted to mix it together. Okay, so I think first I'm gonna drink it from the straw and taste the whole thing. And then I'm gonna drink it from the lid. It's kind of like, I don't know, I think it's good, but you can definitely taste the cold brew. I mean. Obviously, I think the foam doesn't really add as much flavor as I was expecting it to. I'm gonna attempt to try some of the foam with the straw still in here, but. The foam is really good. Okay, so I think overall, I would give this a, I think a seven out of 10. Uh, it's good, but I don't really like coffee, so I don't like how it has a very cold brew-y taste, but it is festive and they only have it in the fall. So I thought I would try it. I think that if you don't like super sweet things, you would like it as a whole. That is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video, bye. Okay, so now it's time for the shout out. So this week's shout out goes to Jack Knapp. So here you go, Jack. I hope you enjoy your shout out and I hope everyone enjoyed the video.